the law of cosines. So when you have a triangle with sides of length A, B, and C, and we've labeled also here the angle that's opposite side of length C as angle C, then it's always true that C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine C. The reason this is useful is it gives you a formula for finding the cosine of an angle in the triangle only using the lengths of the sides of that triangle. So let's derive that here. So we're going to derive the law of cosines. First we're going to draw an altitude z in this triangle to side b. And now we're going to divide the side b into lengths x and y going to that altitude. And now we're going to use the Pythagorean theorem to say that c squared equals y squared plus z squared. Now y is also equal to b minus x since x plus y equals b. We can square both sides of that to get y squared equals b minus x squared. And again, using the Pythagorean theorem, we can show that z squared equals a squared minus x squared. So the reason we did these last two steps is we can now substitute these expressions for y squared and z squared into our original equation. So we can now write c squared equals b minus x squared plus a squared minus x squared. And now we can expand the b minus x squared term. So we have b squared plus x squared minus 2bx plus a squared minus x squared. And notice that the x squared terms cancel, leaving us with c squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2bx. Okay, now we want to get rid of this x term, since the law of cosines only involves the lengths of the sides of the triangle, a, b, and c, and the angle C. So we want to get rid of this x. So we'll note that the cosine of C is equal to x over a. And so x is equal to a cosine C. And we can substitute this back in to get the law of cosines. C squared equals a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine C.